Right, good day everybody, how are you guys? Yeah, it's my time to entertain you for a last few minutes before you go to lunch. <laughs> uh, my part of my lesson basically today is just regarding the visualizer. Do you guys know what the visualizer are? Do you need some of you guys? I know all your schools have got them. Are you using them? <laughs> You should ask your principals, where's the visualizers? So I think every school almost has one or two of these now already. <laughs> right, so do you guys know what a visualizer is? Okay, so a visualizer will take whatever is underneath it and throw it onto the projection screen so that my students basically can see what I'm doing underneath it. So my lesson that I'm going to be doing today is just on circuit boards and I'm not an electrical teacher or anything, it's just to give you guys an idea of how you can use visualizers in your classrooms as a brief idea. Right. So, I did it in two parts. So, my first part of my lesson is basically a PowerPoint presentation where I've created like a lesson for instance. So, I'm going to teach you about electrical circuit and then we're going to use the visualizer to actually um, have a look at physical electrical circuits. So that's what I have here with me today. All right, so I'm just gonna go on with my presentation. So first of all, what is an electrical circuit? An electronic circuit is a complete course of conductors through which current can travel. All right, so current meaning electricity, and that can actually travel in the means through either if it's a component, so if I have like a little globe for instance, um, or if it might be physically that it's running through a cable. Alright, so my current flows. Circuit provide a path for current to flow. To be a circuit, the path must start and end at the same point. Alright, so in other words, a circuit must form a loop. Alright, so where the circuit starts, it must end there as well, so that it basically loops all the time. Alright, everybody happy with that? Everybody understand what a circuit is? <laughs> Will you guys be qualified in uh, electrical engineers after this? <laughs> right. So what is electric current? A electric current is, a, is the flow of the microscopical particles called electrons flowing through wires or components. Current flows from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Alright, so if I had, for instance, a battery, my current actually doesn't come from the positive side, it goes from the negative side, making a loop back into the battery. Okay, so that's the way my current flows. Right. <clears throat> Let's go. Right, then when we use circuit boards or we actually draw diagrams of circuits, for instance, there's electrical um, or symbols um, that's used for these components. So there's just like, for example, a diode, a battery, or the cell would look like. And that's just some of the examples. There is quite a lot more than just that at the end of the day as well. Then always before working on circuits or live electricity, disconnect your power source because electric shock can occur. Alright. Has anybody been shocked before? It's not pleasant, eh? <laughs> Alright. So that can be like just as an example what my lesson in the beginning can look like with my PowerPoint presentation. So my next part that you will see, I say using the visualizer and your circuit boards, create a circuit using a cell and a LAN. So my cell would be basically my batteries that I have, and I'm going to use a LAN. And I'm just going to do a straightforward connection of this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump to my visualizer software. Alright, so here I basically have my cell, I have my LAN. And then I have a black and a red wire. So my red wire is always negative and my black wire is always positive. Am I correct? No. <laughs> right, so red is always positive and black is negative. You can change them around, but international standards, red positive and black is oh, negative is black. And can anybody tell me the color of the earth cable? No, it's not. Earth. 
It's yellow and green. Okay. <laughs> right. So as I said, so my according to my PowerPoint presentation, using the visualizer and your circuit boards, create a circuit using a cell and a lamp. Right. So to do this, first of all, I'm going to connect my red cable to the positive side of the battery. All right. And then my black cable, I'm going to connect to the negative side of my battery. And I can basically then go and connect that and a light will come on from there. Right. So that's a very straightforward way of how I can use a circuit. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Right. Now what I want to do perhaps is actually take a snapshot of this because I actually want to now save my PowerPoint presentation at the end of the day. Right. So that my students, so I can actually, for instance, upload it to the portal and my students can actually access it at the later stage as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my screenshot. I'm going to take a snapshot of that circuit board underneath the camera. And all I'm going to do is just go back to my PowerPoint presentation and then I'm just going to paste that picture into my presentation from there. I'm just going to resize it a bit. So there's a part of my lesson that's done and I can always go back, save this, print it out for the students at a later stage. Right. Then my next part of my presentation is now add a on off switch to the circuit. Right, so what I have, so obviously we've created our circuit now. First of all, what I'm going to do is just disconnect to my positive and then I'm going to add in a power switch so which I can actually switch on and off for instance. Right, so on the one side I'm going to plug that in. I'm just going to add that to the board as well. And now from my positive, this part will go into the switch. Right. So my switch will basically break the current that flows or allow it to flow. So currently it's off, so when I turn it now, the lights will go on. Okay. Any questions on that? Right. Is it interesting? Do you, are you guys enjoying it? Or should I stop? <laughs> All right. Okay. So once again, I can say I want to take a snapshot. I'm just going to capture that part there. All right. So which once again will save it. And then I'm just going to go back to my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to paste it in there, resize it a bit, and ready. And then we can go on to the next part of the lesson. So my next part of my lesson is add a fan to the circuit with a separate switch. Right, so I have this little fan here uh, which has an electrical motor inside and I also have a positive and a negative. So what's quite interesting, if you on the electric uh, motor, if you turn the positive and the negative um, around on the fan, the direction in which the fan blows will change. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to add another, the next part to it. So obviously we have our lamp that's currently there. So, yeah. oh, sorry, <laughs> let's change it. There you go, right. So I'm going to add in an additional cable, so I'm just going to connect that. And we are going to be using the switch as well, so I'll connect that to the one side of my switch. Then from my switch, once again, I'm going to add in another cable, which will then go into my fan. All right. And then I still need a negative as well. So I'm going to take my negative. I'm just going to connect it once again to the negative side of the battery. Connect that to the negative on the motor. And now when I actually turn that, my fan will turn on from there as well. Right, and I can switch that on, and my light is still working from there as well. I just don't think my batteries are strong enough to do both. Oh, these are both. Right. So, once again, I'm going to take a snapshot of it. I'm going to paste it into my PowerPoint presentation. Let's just resize that again. So, there we go. And that's basically my lesson on circuit boards.
Right, so using a visualizer, a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Is there any questions on that? Right. I've also recorded this entire session, so you'll notice that I have myself in the corner. So I have a little lecture capturing camera here as well, so the entire lesson was recorded. So what I can do now 